got some ant pizza. Okay, I'm actually gonna remove this hood because it's kind of hard to film. Ah! This place was widely popular when I was in college. It actually used to be a lot bigger than this. The pizza used to fit this entire box. I got the, I think it's called the American Honey. There's hot honey on it, pepperoni, goat cheese, mozzarella cheese. I got extra mozzarella, arugula. Yeah, it's good. Is it as good as I remember it being? No. So, I saw a few comments asking for a pizza mukbang. The reason you don't really see me eating pizza in DC is because I grew up in New Jersey and the pizza there was top tier. Same with the bagels. So, in DC, I don't really eat a lot of pizza and bagels. Because I'm a snob. <laughs> I'll wait to eat that stuff when I go back to New York or New Jersey, you know? One of my sisters lives in New York. My other sister lives in New Jersey, so... I don't really have to eat pizza in D.C. But I wanted to get this to show you guys. Because I don't think a lot of places have Ann Pizza. But this is quite underwhelming. <laughs> But whatever, I thought it would be fun. And it's still good. Also, I don't think that they gave me extra cheese. Mm, I like the goat cheese on it. Today, I thought I would talk about some New Year's resolutions. I did go over some of them in a TikTok, but... I have a lot more that I want to discuss. The first being, I really want to help out my neighborhood. I live in Chinatown in DC and my neighborhood is struggling to say the least. There's just a lot of crime. A lot of businesses are closing. Though I will say people talk about the crime in Chinatown I've lived in Chinatown for since 2018 and I've always pretty much felt safe living here. Like, I felt safer here than in other places in DC and everybody talks about how Chinatown is the worst neighborhood in DC. Maybe I'm just biased, but I don't know. I, pre I feel pretty safe. I walk around at night all the time. Obviously I'm vigilant when I'm walking around, but I don't know. I've never really felt like super unsafe, you know? That being said, a lot of businesses are closing because of the crime. So I want to support a business in Chinatown at least once a week. And I've been doing that since the beginning of the year. So we're gonna continue doing that. I actually love my neighborhood so much. I was thinking of running for ANC commissioner, which is a position, basically it's like a politics position, but you just like focus on the specific area where you live. But I don't know. Cause I have ideas, but I just always have a fear of being hated by people. <laughs> I feel like getting into politics doesn't really help with that. So why is my ear so red? That's weird. <laughs> I'm also going to the movie theater today in my neighborhood to support that business. It's really nice having a movie theater within walking distance of me. So I really want that movie theater to say. So we're doing it. Also, they're moving the Capital One Center, which is in Chinatown. It's basically where people have their concerts. All this stuff happens there. People actually have been afraid to go to Chinatown to see concerts. So they're moving it. That's how Chinatown gets a lot of its business. So I'm really scared. Um, for what my neighborhood is gonna look like after that. Another resolution is to journal more or to get a therapist.
I think my thing with journaling is I never know what to journal. I'll normally just journal when I'm really stressed out about something, but I feel like that's not healthy. I feel like I want to journal more just to get random thoughts out of my head because I'm such an impulsive person. Sometimes I use my social media as a journal. Um, I don't really want to do that all the time <laughs> because there have been times I've regretted making videos based on an impulsive thought. So maybe if I just ruminate on my impulsive thoughts for a little bit, that will help. Just a thought. I'm seeing Wonka after this, I'm really excited. That's something so fun about not having a nine to five. The fact that you can just like see a movie at 3 p.m. Like, hey. Another resolution is to save money because I definitely did not save as much as I should have last year. I owed the IRS a lot of money. And I should have gone on a lot less trips. <laughs> which brings me to my next resolution, which is to be okay with not going on trips every five seconds. I think because of 2023, I was traveling so much. Like, I would go to one place, and then, like, a week later, I would go to another place. And then a month later, I would go to another place. And it's like, it's okay to just, like, relax. I love my life in D.C. We saving money this year. We don't have to go on a ton of trips to be happy with our life. So I'm going to chill, see how I feel after I pay my taxes in April, and then I'll go on some trips. <laughs> but the saving thing, I just really need to get better at, especially now that I don't have two incomes. Honestly, having this as a full-time job has made me way more responsible financially, so it was... It's almost a good thing that I do this full time now for the sake of me saving money. You know, I remember this being so big. I was like, oh, I'll definitely have leftovers. I'm definitely gonna finish this. The bread's like not thick. So it doesn't really feel like you're eating. It feels like you're eating air. It feels like I have been eating air. Spicy air. <laughs> They got the spice down though. That hot honey is good. Another is to get better at doing my makeup. <laughs> I just want to film more Get Ready With Me's. Um, I feel like they would be a lot easier to film if I actually was good at doing my makeup. In the process of doing my makeup, I have like 10 breakdowns. It never goes smoothly. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I kind of give those creators that do get ready with me is so much respect. It's hard. Especially if you're already not great at doing makeup. <laughs> it's definitely challenging. And those videos take a long time to edit. I really do like makeup. I know I never wear it. But I think that's what makes me like it. Like back in the day, I used to wear makeup all the time. Even with these videos, I used to wear makeup to film a YouTube video. Let me tell you, I have stopped caring about that. I think when I thought that I had to wear makeup back in the day, I didn't like it. Like, I thought that I needed it to make my face look presentable. Like, I thought I looked hideous without it. And now I'm like, I actually have great skin. I have a pretty face. I don't need makeup. So the few times I do wear it to go out, it's fun. Like, it turns into a fun activity. And I love doing eyeliner. So I think that practicing and getting better at it will just be, it'll just be fun. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> mm. I 
Another resolution is to walk more dogs. I'm a wag walker and I literally joined wag to hang out with dogs more. Like I joined it when I fully had a full-time job and my TikTok stuff and I still wanted to walk dogs. Dogs just make me happy. Oh, or fostering dogs because here's the thing. I really want a dog myself, but I feel like I do travel more than the average person. So I just don't think I would want to have that responsibility yet. I will get a dog, but I just don't think I'm ready for it right now. Fostering is different though. I think I'm gonna start looking into fostering dogs. Another resolution is to stop destroying the roof of my mouth every time I eat something. Like I fully have been scratching the roof of my mouth with this crust. It's kind of hard. I feel bad. I've just been coming for this place the entire mukbang. It's just not that good. They do have better pizza places in DC. If you ever go to DC and you somehow want pizza, but listen, if you want good pizza, just go to New York or New Jersey or Connecticut. But if you're in DC and you want pizza, go to Mellow Mushroom. I was going to order delivery from there, but I wanted to support a Chinatown business, so... We got and pizza. <laughs> At least I'm following my resolution. But yeah, Mellow Mushroom, We The Pizza. I think We The Pizza has my favorite pizza in DC. We The Pizza. Wise Guys is good. Wise Guys used to be a lot better though. Like when I first moved to the area in 2018. It just was better. You know, some places just kind of fall off. But they just also got another place in my area called 90 Second Pizza. Honestly, <coughs> I had other places to go to in my area. I just, I thought Ann Pizza would be fun because I remember it being like such a trendy place. But it was kind of empty when I went in there. That makes me kind of glad that I got it though. Because the other pizza places in my neighborhood are already doing well. They need the love. It's kind of like the sushi burrito trend. Like, it was so huge when I was in college. Oh, and here comes the sun. Um, yeah. Sushi burritos were... Oh, she's, she's strong. I love the sun, but this is a lot. <laughs> yeah. I guess this place just kind of fell off. I mean, it's been like... Six years since I've eaten that. Places just change. But what can you do? Those are just some of my resolutions that I've been thinking about. Oh, also to get a driver's license. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of afraid of driving. I just get stressed out. I don't know. There's crazy people on the roads. But I think it would be fun because I want to start filming like mukbangs in the car. Or like try different fast food items at different fast food places. I can't really do that on foot. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is really hurting the roof of my mouth. Like, I'm not even gonna finish that. Like, ow. Well, thank you for watching this. I feel bad that I was so disappointed with this meal, but I'm excited for next time. <laughs> Love you guys.